So you want to get shaders with Minecraft mods. Now there are two specific mod loaders that you might want to get shaders with. One is Forge, the other is Fabric. We're going to be going over both of them in this video today, covering everything you need to know to get shaders with Forge and Fabric mods. The process is different with both of them though, so we have provided time codes down below that will skip to the Forge part and the Fabric part to ensure that you can get shaders for whichever mod loader you are using. Now, first off, we need to prep for either of these though. No matter what, you're going to need to download some shaders packs. In the description down below, we have a link here. This is our list of the best shaders packs for Minecraft, and in this video, we're going to install two. We're going to install BSL shaders, but we're also going to install complementary shaders. Why? Because complementary shaders is designed to work with mods and be very, very basically friendly to modded Minecraft and adding shaders to it. So go ahead and click download on that one as well. For complementary, we are downloading it here on Curse Forge. Just go ahead and click on the files here and then find the version that you want. I'm going to go ahead and download this version here for 1.20.1. Click the three dots and click download file. After a few seconds, the download will begin. And while this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyc slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server running any mods that you want. Whether it's mod packs, whether it's individual mods, any mods that you want, you can set up on your server. We also support plugins, and of course, you can run a vanilla server as well. Truthfully, anything you want to do with your Minecraft server, you can do it at Simple Game Hosting. And there's live chat support and a high quality knowledge base to help you out if you have issues along the way. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, as you can see, it is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. BitsLab is the next shaders we want to download, so we want to go and click BSL shaders here, and then we want to go ahead and click the download button here. That's going to take us to where we can select whether we want to use CurseForge or Moderinth. I'm going to use Moderinth, and then once you're here, you can just go ahead and click on download. The download will begin, and boom, there you go. BSL shaders is downloaded. Again, you may need to keep or save it depending on your browser. Now, there's one more thing that we need to do to prep for shaders, and that is get Java, and if you need to, run the jar fix. If later on you download Forge, or you download Optifine, or you download anything, and it looks different than mine, or you can't open it for whatever reason, there's issues, download Java, and then run the jar fix. This is Required for modding Minecraft. Obviously, we're modding Minecraft here. So now let's go ahead and move on into the Forge section of this video. In the description down below, we have a complete guide on getting Forge. I am going to go over the basics in this video, but if you do have any issues or anything like that, that's why this guide is here. And if you scroll down, we do have troubleshooting and FAQs to help you out and ensure that no matter what, you can get Forge. And if you prefer text tutorials, by the way, we've got one of those here as well. Nevertheless, go ahead and click on Download Forge to go to Forge's official download page. Then you want to select a version of Minecraft that you want on the left hand side. This will work for any version of Minecraft, pretty much. So what version you want just depends on the version you want. Whether it's in the future, whether it's an old version, this should still work. And once you're here, just go ahead and go under Download Recommended and click on Installer. When you do, Forge will begin downloading. It may take you off to an Add Focus page. And if it does, what you want to do is click the Skip Add button in the top right. But right now, that's not the case, so it just downloads automatically. You may need to keep or save Forge. As long as Forge is in the title, you're 100% safe. But again, if it takes you off to an Add Focus page, just click Skip Add in the top right. Now, in order to get shaders with Forge mods, we want to get Optifine. Optifine's the basically installer that allows Minecraft and shaders to work together, and it's also Forge compatible. Of course, in the description, we have this. This is a link on how to get Optifine specifically. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Optifine button to be taken to the official Optifine download page. Now, with Optifine, we want to make sure that we're getting the same version that we got Forge for. So for me, I got Forge for 1.20. For you, if it's 1.30, 1.40, whatever it is in the future, you want to make sure you get that same version. So as you can see, this is the version we have. If you want other versions, just click Show All Versions, and there they are. But for us, it's 1.20.1, and we want to come over here and click the Mirror Link. But doing that, we're just bypassing an ad, and here we are on this a version of Optifine's download page. Finally, click Download here, and the download will begin. You may need to keep or save Optifine, again, depending on your browser, but 100% safe to do that. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser here, and what we want to do is move everything to our desktop. So to do that, we want to go ahead and come in here and then go to our downloads folder, right? So we want to go to the downloads folder. For you, it might not be in your downloads folder, but for me it is. So let's go ahead and move Optifine and Forge to the desktop, right like so. And then we'll also move BSL shaders and complementary shaders 
There we go. So now we've got everything on the desktop. To get started, we're going to be working with Forge. So go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. If you can't open Forge like that, we covered it earlier in the video, you need to get Java. Nevertheless, here's the Forge installer. The only reason this won't work, by the way, is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If they are, close out of those, or if you've never played Minecraft for the version of Forge you're installing. So if I had never played Minecraft 1.20.1 and tried to install Forge, it wouldn't work. So I just need to go play it with no mods or anything come back and it will work then click install client and click ok and now forge will install once it's complete you'll get a forge successfully installed message and you're good to go right forge is now set up and it is installed and we can add optifine to it with your other minecraft mods so there we go click ok and let's go ahead and get optifine added to minecraft so go ahead and open up the minecraft launcher and then in the minecraft launcher we want to go ahead and make sure that we open up minecraft with our forge installation if you have an optifine installation don't use that one use your forge installation because you want to use Forge mods and so we need to make sure we're using the Forge installation here now for me as you can see it's automatically selected You could click play and click play again But if you don't have it down here in this drop down what you want to do is go on installations up here at the top then you want to make sure modded is selected. As you can see, if we unselect modded, Forge disappears. If we check it, there it is. If you've got it, click play. But if you don't, let's go ahead and make ourselves a Forge installation. Go ahead and click new installation here. You can name server you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the easiest way to start your very own Minecraft server. And then we want to go ahead and click the version drop down box here. Then we want to select the Forge release of what we want, not Optifine. As you can see, there's an Optifine release here. If you click that, this ain't going to work. You want to make sure that you get the Forge version here. So scroll down and find the Forge version. Right here it is for me. I'm going to then change the resolution so you can see better here in a second. And then go ahead and click Create. Now we have this new SimpleGameHosting.com installation that's most importantly the Forge version. Go ahead and click Play. Click Play again. And now Minecraft will open up with Forge installed. And we can easily add Optifine and our shaders packs from there. I'll meet you on the main menu to get things going. So here we are. Minecraft is open. And we know Forge is working because we have a Mods button here. Go ahead and click on that. And then in here you want to click on the Open Mods Folder button. I know that was a little fast. So from the main menu click click mods and then click open mods folder in the bottom left then just drag and drop optifine into your mods folder right like so then close minecraft what you want to then do is open up minecraft again this time making sure that you are playing with that forge installation you always have to play with that forge installation and by the way you did just see that right we put optifine right with the rest of our forge mods so just plop it into your mods folder right next to journey map blue skies whatever mods you have just put optifine right in there with them However, some mods don't work with Optifine, and it's unfortunately a case-by-case -case basis. And if that's the case for you, you, for whatever reason, aren't able to launch now with Optifine in your mods folder with your other mods. It may be that a mod just doesn't work with it. Or when you join in games, there's a ton of visual bugs. Try a different shaders pack, and then if you still can't get things to work, it might be that Optifine's just not compatible. And I'm sorry, that's just unfortunate, and a lot of mods aren't compatible with Optifine. You can remove mods that aren't compatible with Optifine, but you'll have to look into individual mods in order to figure out which ones are and aren't working with Optifine. It can be a kind of a tedious process, but that is something I did want to note here, because if you're having issues, that might be why. But we won't have issues, except for the fact that in the mods folder, there is no Optifine. But if we go into options, video settings, we can see Optifine's installed in the bottom left. I don't know why Optifine doesn't show in the mods folder, but it doesn't matter because it is installed. To add shaders, just click on this shaders button here. And then I already have actually these two installed. Let me <clears throat> delete those really fast. My bad there. There we go. And then what we want to do to install our shaders packs is click on the shaders folder button in the bottom left. When you click on that, it's going to open the shaders packs folder here. And you want to drag and drop BSL and comp complementary into your shaders packs folder right like so so boom they're now in here and what's cool is if we go back to minecraft there are the shaders packs complementary is designed to work with as many mods and be as compatible as possible so that's why i always suggest that for mod in minecraft we've selected it here and now we can go ahead and launch in game to our simple game hosting server and see that shaders packs are in fact working now keep in mind that you can still change your shader options everything that you can do with optifine without mods you can do it with mods and Look at that, complimentary is working and looking good. If you go into options, video settings, shaders, you can click shaders options in the bottom right to be able to control and change everything here. But that's how you can get shaders with Forge mods. What about fabric mods though? Well, give me a quick second to kind of reset everything because well, we've got to redownload stuff. I got to reinstall the shaders packs, all of that stuff. And then we will show you how to get fabric mods with shaders so you skip the forge section you want to know how to get shaders with your fabric mods well first off make sure that you watch the beginning of the video because up until we started forge 
we got the shaders packs, and we made sure you had Java, something you're going to need no matter what for getting shaders with fabric mods. So go back and watch the beginning of the video if you need to. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get shaders for fabric mods. And actually, you don't need this. You don't need to install Fabric. Everything is done with Iris. Iris is basically the mod that allows us to get shaders in Minecraft. And when we download the installer here, it's going to get Fabric for us as well. So it's all covered with this one mod, which is really, really cool. So in the description down below, you'll find this, a link to our guide on getting Iris shaders. Once you're here, click on the download button to be taken to the official Iris shaders download page. Here, go ahead and click on Download Universal Jar, and Iris shaders will begin download. Downloading, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser and move this to our desktop. It is going to be found in the downloads folder, but for you, it might be in another folder. It's wherever your files typically download to. Go ahead and move all of these to our desktop. And we want to go ahead and make sure we have our shaders packs as well. Like I said earlier, we covered that at the beginning of the video. So if you don't have these, you want to go make sure you download them. Then let's go ahead and right click on Iris, click on open with, click Java, and then go ahead and click OK. If you don't have Java here, that's covered at the beginning of the video as well. Now with the Iris installer open, what we want to do is make sure that we select the fabric install here, not Iris. So make sure fabric install is selected and then click install. It's that easy. And if you do get this error that an existing mods folder was found in the selected game directory, that's okay and very normal. Let's go ahead and click yes that you want to update Iris and boom, there you go. So we go ahead and close out of this and we can delete the Iris installer. Now we want to go ahead and open up Minecraft and we will have a fabric installation ready to go. And if you need to, you can go ahead and add your fabric mods. I'll show you quickly where and how to do that. If we go in here in the Minecraft launcher and click on installations at the top, you'll have fabric here. If you don't, you may need to make sure that Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed and reinstall Iris like we just did. You'll also need to have played the Minecraft version that you're installing Iris for. In our case, that would be 1.20.1, but for you, it might be a different version. You've got to play that with no mods or anything in order to install Iris and get this installation. But once you have it, what you want to do is hover over the fabric installation here and click on the folder icon that appears. That's going to open up your .minecraft folder. And if you go into mods here, you will actually have Iris and Sodium. That's a sign that this has worked. And you'll want to add your other fabric mods here as well. Now at this point we can go ahead and play Minecraft and Irish shaders will be installed but your shaders packs won't be. If you launch into Minecraft right now there won't be any shaders packs there so we want to make sure that we add them so I'll meet you on the main menu to do exactly that. So here we are Minecraft is open to install your shaders click on options and then go to video settings. Then up here at the top we have the shaders packs option click on that and then finally click open pack folder. Then just drag and drop any shaders packs you want to install right in here and when we come back to Minecraft there they they are. Go ahead and click on the shaders pack you want, click apply, and boom, it is now installed. If you do want to change your shaders pack settings, right here they are. You can come in here and change these to whatever you'd like. But at this point, let's go ahead and jump onto our Simple Game Hosting server and show you that shaders are in fact working. So once we're in here, you'll be able to see shaders are working, they look good, all of that stuff, and they will work with your other mods. Generally, complementary shaders in Iris and Sodium work with every fabric mod. I, I don't know of many, if any, fabric mods that aren't working with those currently, but if you do have any issues, it may be mod specific. So if you have other visual mods or something like that, maybe uninstall those. Any FPS fixers or anything like that may cause issues with Sodium and iris but nevertheless that's how you can add shaders to your fabric mods your forge mods and any mods you like if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more incredible content and we will see you in the next one peace